Robinhood unveiled its first ever credit card and a redesign of its brokerage app. And join us now, uh, first on CNBC, is Robinhood uh, co-founder and CEO Vlad Tenev. It's great to have you here. Thanks big, for having me. Th- this, Always a pleasure. This is outside the box, kind of. But, but then again, maybe not. Maybe it, it, it all makes sense as, as the company uh, branches out and becomes more of a financial services firm. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been saying for a while that what we'd like to do is build a world where for our customers, all of their assets are custodied at Robinhood and every financial transaction goes through Robinhood. And credit is just such a critical part of how So that's all you use. want to do with Robinhood is yeah, just have everybody, all of their assets and everything goes through Robinhood. That, that's I a, think we'll start with those two things and then we can <laughs> yeah. kind of Did you bring the there, car? go beyond I, that. Because it is kind of unique. It's no fees, right? Yeah. Three percent. What do you usually get? You don't get. I, you don't get. So there's two. That's nice. Types of credit cards. Yeah, this is the solid gold one. Do you guys want to? You want to touch gold? it? It's it's literally a hunk of solid gold. And yeah. There's no fee for that. You're going to give that to me for free? If you're a gold member, there's no fee. This yeah. is you got your name on it. Yeah. Yeah. So I you can don't. Show it you to didn't you. really bring. We don't. There's no Joseph Kernan. Here. Well, Give there, back so back. anyone can get that if you refer <laughs> ten friends. I don't to want to join Robin a club that, that would give me one. Uh, <laughs> and then you can get so three so percent is more than the normal. No fees. Five percent. You want people booking travel through through Robinhood too. Yeah. So typical cashback cards. We've surveyed the entire landscape. Uh, the highest that's sort of like commonly available with no limits is a, around two percent. And a lot of cashback cards are even lower than that, 1.5. So 3% is beyond what anyone else offers with no limit, no minimum balance, no net worth requirement to be, to be part of the program. How do you make money on that? Like that? That sounds like it's a little risky of a strategy because the reason others are out there, I mean, unless you think everybody's not offering more just because they don't have to and they're all in collusion on doing that. I, I think, you know, credit cards are one of the most profitable segments in financial services, possibly the most profitable. Yeah, because they don't give away that much cash. They have limits on what they set on it. They have real heavy checks, hefty checks that they put on people. How, what, how do you make money? Like, how does that come back? There, there's two ways. So um, one, one way is because we sort of have a vertically integrated system, we not only earn the interchange revenue, but a credit card is also a lending product. So there's revenue on balances that customers hold. And there's generally two types of customers that use credit cards. There's folks that pay off their balance in full every month, and those are called more transactors. This is obviously a great card for transactors because of the rewards, but um, it's also an amazing card for people that are building credit. This might be, you know, in my opinion, one of the best credit building cards out there as well. And for customers that are using it to build their credit, we do earn the economics on those balances. And for customers that are transacting, um, it's all about the ecosystem benefit. And we've actually seen data on this from Robinhood Gold customers. Robinhood Gold customers are much more likely to adopt all of our other products. Their balances with us are higher. Mm -hmm. Their average revenue per user is multiples of a non-gold customer. So once someone joins gold, they tend to increase the amount of money they put in Robinhood. They do more with us. They're a more profitable customer. They get more value. So the idea is to just add more things to Robinhood gold and for it to be a no-brainer value proposition. The whole uh, idea behind Robinhood gold is if you're a high net worth individual and you're accustomed to getting a a level of service from your bank or other financial institution, we want to open up that sort of private client, high net worth experience for just $5 a month to the mass market. And that's where the retirement offer comes in, the high yield on cash, the premium credit card. All of these are products that you'd have to have a lot of money to be able to qualify for. And we're just trying to open them up to as many people as possible. 